My name is Patrick Williamson, Technical Support Supervisor at Federal Signal. Today I'll be giving an overview of the features shown on the top toolbar of the Convergence Network Configuration software. Starting at the far left is the File tab. Under this drop-down there are five options. Open, Save, Save As, Export Technician File, and Exit. Open allows you to load a file already saved on your computer. Save allows you to save the changes to your configuration file after it has already been saved onto your computer. Save As allows you to name and save your configuration file for later reloading into the software. Export Technician File allows you to create a file that you can give to an installer or technician who can then use that file but cannot manipulate it. Exit allows you to exit out of the software. The second tab on the toolbar is System. This dropdown has five options. Default Configuration, Blank Configuration, Priority Settings, Input Grouping, and Set Current Limits. Default Configuration will load the default configuration of your Pathfinder model into the software. Blank Configuration allows you to start from scratch by loading a clean configuration file. Priority Settings allows you to change priorities of your buttons, inputs, slide switches, etc. Input Grouping allows you to group desired buttons or slide switches. Set Current Limits allows you to set the max current for each relay on your Pathfinder. The third tab on the toolbar is Device, which has three options. These options are Program Device, Program and Lock Device, and Read Device Configuration. Program Device will load your configuration file into your Pathfinder amplifier or standalone controller. Program and Lock Device performs the same operation as Program Device, but it allows you to lock the device with a password. Read Device Configuration will upload the configuration file from your Pathfinder amplifier or standalone controller into the Convergence Network Configuration software. The fourth tab on the toolbar is Tools, which has eight options to choose from. These options are Relay Wiring Report, Configuration Report, Configuration Viewer, Configuration Notes, Siren Tone Configuration Wizard, Shutdown Wizard, Diagnostics, and Feature State Diagnostics. Relay Wiring Report will open a PDF document showing how each relay is programmed in the event you need to reference it in the future. Configuration Report will open a PDF version of your overall program. Configuration Viewer is similar to Configuration Report, but it is a much cleaner version, which is not allowed to be printed out. This option is meant for ease of viewing and is fully searchable by using the search bars at the top. Configuration Notes allows you to add notes about your configuration file, which will be saved in your program and can be displayed whenever the file is opened in the software. Siren Tone Configuration Wizard allows you to set your siren tones according to your specifications and when they are to activate. Shutdown Wizard is used whenever you need certain triggers to remain active when ignition is Diagnostics allows you to test your speaker output, battery voltage, and relay outputs for help in troubleshooting system faults. It also allows you to test the color configuration of your FS join light bar. Feature State Diagnostics allows you to see a real-time view of your file to test functionality of your controller. For instance, when you load your program file into your Pathfinder amplifier or standalone controller and activate a button or slide switch, 
the primary state should change to either on or off in the software, depending on how your file is configured. It also shows dependency states if a dependency is set to that button or slide switch, and same with any timers that are set. The fifth tab is firmware updates. This tab has one option, which is to view device info. This allows to update the firmware in your convergence device and view what firmware is currently on the device. The last tab is the Help tab. The Help tab has eight options. Pathfinder Installation and Maintenance Instructions, Pathfinder Quick Start Guide and Installation Worksheet, Pathfinder Training Guide, Expansion Module Quick Start Guide, 24 Channel Expansion Module Quick Start Guide, Release Notes, Extract Log Files, and about. The quick start installation and maintenance guides give you the PDF instructions that you would normally receive with each product. Pathfinder training guide provides useful tips and hints for programming various functions of your Pathfinder or standalone controller. Release notes allows you to view the various changes that were made to the convergence network configuration software, past and present. Extract log files allows you to save a report to send to a federal signal technician when faced with programming issues. About allows you to view the current version of the software that is loaded onto your computer. On the right hand side of the toolbar, you see a toggle switch for light and dark mode, as well as standard and advanced mode. The toggle switch for light or dark mode sets the light intensity of the software for a viewer-friendly version based on current lighting conditions in your facility. The second toggle allows you to flip between standard and advanced mode. Standard mode, the default option, gives you the basic programming options. If you switch to advanced mode, you will be given more options to further the customization of your programming. Please visit our YouTube channel and website for more videos. Thanks for watching.